Hello kids, welcome to your maths class. So, as you can see that today we are going to learn ordinal numbers. So, we are going to do an exercise based on ordinal numbers. So, ordinal numbers exercise you have done a number of times. But still I am seeing that most of you are committing some errors in it. Children, please remember your spellings of ordinal numbers because if the spelling is wrong then the whole your answer will be completely wrong so it is important that you learn the spellings properly and you have to follow other norms of writing ordinal numbers also so let us start the exercise based on ordinal numbers so there is this word written in front of you and the word is photograph phot uh, photographer photographer so the word is photographer and so the first step of ordinal numbers is let's count the number of letters in it. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So there are total 12 letters in this word photographer. So, how many letters are there? There are total 12 letters in this word. And we have done ordinal numbers till 12th. So, P is the first, first letter. 2 is the second letter. O is the third letter. T is the fourth letter. Then O is the fifth letter. 6 is your G is your sixth letter. R is your seventh letter. A is your 8th letter, P is your 9th letter, H is your 10th letter, E is your 11th letter and R is your 12th letter. So this R is the last letter and, the, and P is your first letter. So first remember children now as I have mentioned that from P to R there are total how many letters in this word? Photographer, there are total 12 letters in this word photographer. So now what is the next thing that you have to do? The next thing is that you are given certain letters over here and you need to tell me the position of these letters. So let us see the first one is E. Now locate where is E. E is it over here? So no, it is E is over here and the position of E is 11th. So, you have to remember that you don't have to write 11th like this. So, this is the wrong method. So, you all have to remember you don't have to write 11th as it is. You have to write down the spelling of 11th. What is the spelling of 11th? E-L-E-V-E-N-T-H 11th. So, spelling of 11th is E-L-E-V-E-N-T-H So, is E repeating again? No. We have E only once. So, E position is 11. So, remember one more thing children that the first letter should be with capital. E should always start with capital whereas all the other letters should be with small. This is also a very major error that you all are committing. That the first letter you all write with a small E. That is completely wrong. If I get anyone writing 11th like this, this is wrong. This is completely wrong and 11th like this is also wrong. You have to write the spelling like this. Remember the first letter should be with capital and you will not write it like this. This is not the right way. You need to write the total spelling. Now see the second word is the second letter that you have to identify is O. So is O repeating any uh, two times? Yes it is repeating. So the position of O is first. So, let us see where is one first O located. So, it is in the third position. So, are you going to write down third as it is? No, you have to write down the full spelling of O. That is P-H-I-R-D. That is the spelling of O. That is the spell That is the position of O. So, and what is uh, the other position of O? It is in the fifth position. So, are you going to write down fifth as it is? Completely wrong. You have to write down the full spelling of fifth. F will be capital F-I-F-T-H. So this is the spelling of fifth and this is the spelling of third. Now let's come to the next letter that is G. So where is G located? G is located in the sixth position. So sixth are we going to write down like this? No. 
we are going to write down the full spelling of sixth. S I X T H. So this is the spelling of sixth. Nobody will write it with the small s. This is wrong. Neither anybody will write it like this. So this is also wrong. Okay, children. Now let's come to the next letter. That is T. Is T uh, coming once? Yes, it is in the fourth position. So you will write down F O U R T H. This is fourth. Nobody will write it like this, and with a small f. With a small f, nobody will write. You will always write it with a capital F. So now let's uh, come to the next one. That is P. The letter P is repeating how many times? Two times. First and over here ninth. So P will write F I R S T. First and N I N T H. So again, a very major error that most of you are committing is you are writing the spelling of ninth like this. This is wrong. The spelling of ninth is n i n t h. This is the right spelling. This is the wrong spelling. And nobody will write ninth like this. This is also wrong. And nobody will write it with a small n. So these are the rules that you need to remember, children. Come to the next one that is A. So where is A located? A is located at the eighth position. And is there is an A repeating again? No, it is in the eighth position. So E I E I G T H. So you will write down eighth like this. E I G T H. E with the capital, and you will not write it like this. This is wrong. Come to the last one. The last one is R. So where is R located? R is located in the seventh position and in the twelfth position. See, R is located in the seventh and in the twelfth position. So both the positions you need to write down. So R you will write down S E V E N T H seventh, and the next one is twelfth T W E L. T W E L F T H. So this is the spelling of twelfth. Nobody will write it like seventh and twelfth like this. This is not acceptable. You will not write it like this. And see, ma'am has written S with a capital and T with the capital T. So you need to remember all these things before doing your exercise. So remember the certain points that you need to remember. So that's all for today, children. Thank you class